Here's how I turn these few ad sets into a lot more ad sets using the power editor. You have to be on Google Chrome first of all to use the power editor. And then once you're in the ads interface, you hit power editor over here and it will start loading up. Now I often like to start from scratch on the power editor because they consistently make a new power editor as you can see here. It hasn't been that long since I've used it and now they have new automatic downloads and you can review your ads here. <clears throat> so what I usually do, I go over here and hit reset the power editor before I go do anything else. So I get a nice fresh start in the power editor and then I get my accounts loaded up here. So this is the account I'm using now. You can see it already has downloaded everything which is a huge improvement over before. So I can go in here and click Fiverr top selling posts here. And now what I can do is start copying out these existing ones. So I can copy this remarketing campaign. I hit duplicate on here and I'll do this a few times to so make sure you can see it. I'll remove this custom audience. And what I want to do now is try targeting some different places. So I'll say Fiverr India on this one for a dollar a day because Fiverr is pretty big in India. So I'll hit in the detailed targeting, I hit Fiverr. And then in the location, I hit India. And now I get to see how many people are on here total. So 87,000 people total Fiverr India. So from here what I want to do, I want to add some more countries where I know Fiverr is pretty big so I can get this out. Now the beauty of this is, since I'm advertising a free video, it helps to advertise the video out and get the post as popular as possible. So showing ads on India and Pakistan and Bangladesh actually helps me to more effectively convert the people that find the ad in the US, Canada, Australia to being customers. The video has more views, it has more comments, more likes, more shares, more social proof means more trust, more trust means higher likelihood of someone taking action on it. So it's nice using this strategy, you can do low cost global ads and then you can also try to make some sales in countries like this too. So what I can do on here now is just try adding more countries based on what I know from other areas. So I had Nigeria on here. I can see that adds 30,000 people. I can try countries like Nepal and if it doesn't add anything, I'll take it back off. So that didn't add anything, so I'll try Vietnam on here. And that added 20,000. So now I've got English selected already. So I can afford to go in here and just try new countries and see whether the reach goes up or not. And especially, hopefully, to find the countries where it's cheap to try some of these ads in. So I then can use this same country list targeted on different things. So at 320,000 people, there's room to add maybe a couple more, or I could even remove countries that drop the minimum. So you see when I remove Vietnam, the reach goes down. When I move Nigeria, the reach goes down. When I move remove Pakistan, the reach goes down. So that shows it was a good one to add. So I want to add countries where it makes the estimated reach go up. That shows it's cheap. So if I delete Bangladesh, you can see it goes down on there too. So that's a good one. And if I delete India on here, you can see that it goes up a little bit, but the reach itself goes down. So I'll put India on here because it doesn't drop it down too much given how many more people it adds. So I can try and find more people in other areas doing this same strategy. And I can just test countries out based on the estimated reach. And like Thailand drops the cost and doesn't add very much to it. So for then I could just stop and use these three in one and then I changed the name up here, Fiverr, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh. Now I've actually made sales in all of these countries on my courses and for a dollar a day, why not give this a try? So I go through here and I've got this done. Now that's how you make one copy of this on the power editor. Now that's not much faster than doing it on the ads manager. What is faster is then when I want to try different targeting, then I can copy all of them and switch them all at once. So I hit continue to apply these changes here. And this give, that gives me the ability it now uploaded 
those specifically, so now those are pending review. So then I can continue copying things in here. I can just go, I select the Fiverr USA here, I hit duplicate, and keep same campaign, and I hit create. And then I can go do the same thing again and again and just try out some different countries. So I don't know what country I'm going to start with. I'll try and find some additional countries. So based on the, it says there's 3.2 million people total that like Fiverr. So given the US and Canada and the ones I've targeted already are about half of it, I'm missing the other half of the world that likes Fiverr. So what I want to do is try some of the most popular countries and see how they are. So Brazil, it looks like the costs are really good on Brazil. There's only 22,000. So I just go through and keep guessing on the countries and see which ones add up. So Brazil and Argentina both add to it. I can try some in South America and Mexico because I want this to go out to as many places as possible and get to as many people as possible. So I can also try Nigeria on there and just keep guessing at which countries based on my existing list of countries I have from making sales already on the courses. And if I guess wrong, I can just delete it. Now like I can try Thailand in this one and on this one it takes it down a bit but it also adds a significant reach. So I'll try Thailand in this one because in this one it only drops it a little bit based on the group of countries it's in there with. So I try Thailand, I could try Vietnam again in this one and see how it works with the costs. And if I run out of ideas, I can click this here and see what comes out. So it's about the same. If I run out of ideas, now here's where I can use my Google AdWords data. So. I've already kind of out of ideas. That's the most I've got. So what I can do over here, I can go look at my unconverted. I can go look at what I'm already running ads in. So if I go to settings and go to location and view location reports, I can see where I'm already making sales. So I can see Thailand's one of my top in terms of sales. So what I want to do now is go down here and try and make sure I'm advertising in these countries. So I can go put and then just tab back over to the power editor. So this is a great way, if you have any existing data you can use, to try and use the data you have to help you make educated guesses. So you can do things like go on Alexa to get this same result. You can do things like Google and Wikipedia pages. Whatever you need to do to get this kind of result to help figure out Ooh, the Philippines, that's good. To figure out where exactly you might be missing out on some of the biggest opportunities. I already got Vietnam in there. I can throw Ireland in. I can throw Kuwait in there. I can go back over here, Indonesia, Serbia. So these are places I've already got confirmed sales on Udemy. Now if you don't have confirmed sales, that's fine. You just use whatever data you can get your hands on. You might have a friend who has data that can help you out. Ukraine, Switzerland. Now some of these are going to put my costs up, but I can analyze them each individually by the results. What I want to know is how many I'm up to. So I've got 290,000 people. So this is comparable to this audience I have over here. Now I can only put in 25 or so at once. So then what I can do is call this Fiverr top unconverted and then I can go down or I'll go over here and I can hit the edit button to put it back over there. I can click on review changes, continue and let Facebook go ahead and upload that and then I could make one more of these to help give me the chance to do my best getting these different ad sets up. The more creative I'm able to be in testing out these different targeting options, the better chance I'll have to be successful. And I copied the US budget on this, so it'll have $2 a day, and it's got a lot of different costs and countries and reach in there, so it'll be interesting to test that out and see how that works. And I can switch all these to $2 a day very quickly, clicking on this, except the remarketing, so then I hit review changes, updated, and now these will very quickly switch over to $2 a day budgets on everything. 
and switch back there. So I can copy one more and continue doing this to get some more countries in here because I really want to have as many different countries as possible. And then I can just, whatever ones don't work, I can go ahead and adjust to that. So I can continue down here. And then even if I don't remember where I left off, all I have to do is click over to this one and then figure out exactly what I targeted on it. So I, that's in the actual ad interface. I go up here to add set and I click unconverted and I click edit. I can go back and see the countries I targeted. So it looks like I left off at Switzerland, probably was the last one I did on that list. So then I can go back over here and go back up to the ad set level and then continue down on the locations here based on what this already says. So I can go Turkey, Taiwan, Kenya, put those in. And now you can have up to 25 countries, I believe, in one ad set. However, the more you put in there, the more challenging it can get to be. So this is a pretty narrow targeted thing with just Fiverr here. Since it's that narrowly targeted, I probably don't want to make an individual ad set for each country. Now, if I was targeting a huge broad interest, I might want to do that. But since this is a little more narrow, I don't want to go too big or too small. So I try and do my best to put in the ads that get enough impressions. So this is 76,000 on here. So I want to keep going in and doing more of these. Coast some of these, as you can see from the sales data on Google AdWords, I can get incredibly low sales. I can get really low cost conversions like these 94 cents out of what country is this? Afghanistan. Now you might not think to advertise in Afghanistan, but if I can get say a US soldier who's overseas in Afghanistan with some of these ads, then I might be able to get a really cheap conversion that way. So the more out of the box things you can test, the more potential your ad campaigns can have. So I can throw Afghanistan. Now it doesn't seem like it's going to add much, but there's a thousand people it added based on that. Guatemala, Iceland, and then Iceland here. So now I'd like to get it up close to 100,000. And the smaller countries you keep going, the more it starts to get more and more difficult to try and add anything. And yet, these are countries people don't often take the time to target. So when I'm targeting these countries, you can see most everyone takes the time to go target the US or Canada or something like that. But some of the best results I get are being able to go put these countries in that most people are like, you know, I'm not going to sit there and manually target all of these one at a time and then hope that I can get some results. Mostly then there's only local ads that show in there. So I get a huge advantage in what I'm doing by doing things like this. So I'm getting down to pretty much the end of this list here. Zimbabwe, Trinidad and Tobago, and I've advertised in most all of these before on Facebook. So this gives me the confidence to go try this also. And a lot of the client's best results I've seen have been doing similar things like this with similar products. So the last one I'll throw in is Bosnia and Herzegovina. So there, I've got 130,000 now and this is a lot of countries in it. So I'll go up here and then I can go Fiverr Unconverted 2 to just let me know it's the same basic idea as the other one and it's got different countries. So I go review changes, I hit continue again to apply these here. And that might not look much faster than trying to use the power, the ads manager versus using the power editor. What really goes fast though, so I go over here and I go back up to my campaign because sometimes Facebook will just select the one. So now I've got all these. Well, now what I can do, I can go copy each one of these just like this with the existing countries selected and I hit duplicate. So this is where things really get fast. So I hit create now. Now all the country targeting is the same. You'll see ad set name, mixed values, and then you can see 
mixed state on the locations. The detailed targeting though is the same. So now I can pop up suggestions and I can try and pick some different things out on here that will give me the ability to try and target some related areas that are slightly different. So I've looked, I can see a lot of the recommendations on here based on what Facebook says. So I can kind of do a collection of all of these together because some people may not have actually liked Fiverr, but they might have liked similar things on Facebook. So I can go through here and pick these things I know are similar from my experience working online. Things like people per hour. I can go in there and put all of those in and then I can go remove Fiverr and Fiverr.com and I can, this way, I've got a chance to test out all of these unique targeting options in other countries. I can test out all of these and see which ones actually work. And I don't know if any of these will work, but the nice thing is now I've got a different targeting I've been able to test with a lot different likes specifically. So these are about collectively the same as the Fiverr audience. So then I go through and I click the edit button. So now all of these are the same countries and just different interests. So now I can quickly go through and change the interests. And I can go something like freelancers, freelance platforms in here. And that no, then I know from here I've got these are freelance platforms instead of Fiverr targeting. So I can just click edit real quick and paste that in here. I can edit this real quick, paste that in here. Same thing, edit, paste, edit, paste. And then I can remove all the copies off the end because that adds unnecessary length. So now I've got all these new ad sets that I just made really quickly in a very short amount of time that will allow me to test out. And I review and submit all of this then I can test out and see which one actually works the best. Often it's surprising when you go try something like that, the different targeting might actually work better than the precise targeting. So for example, those freelance platforms I did, those might actually work better because they are more likely possibly to grab people who are just seeing Fiverr for the very first time instead of people who've already liked Fiverr who are, are already engaged with Fiverr. It might get people who didn't even know about Fiverr to then get interested. All right, so now I've skipped ahead a little bit. I went through and updated everything. I added self-employed to one and I have freelancer to another. So now you can see I've got a bunch more ad sets created testing several different types of targeting starting from just the one ad set. So this is how I'm able to scale things up on Facebook. I test a bunch of different targeting combinations on a small scale and then whichever one works the best, then I end up keeping those and doing more. So I'm able this way to make my work go farther. I'm able this way to do more in a lot less time. So I'm grateful that I've learned how to do this with the Power Editor and I'm grateful that I've had the chance to show you how to do this today. And I appreciate you watching and hope this is helpful for you in making your Facebook ads.